Then I'm gonna wear the anting for a second. Yeah. Today is a very special day, not because the weather is beautiful, which it is, but because today is the first time in a very long while we're gonna have durian. And uh, I don't know if you've seen my first uh, video about durians. I've posted it. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the, in the comments or in the section below. But yeah, since then we've had uh, durian a few times. And uh, yeah, we really, really like it. So we've been looking forward to this for a while. And so I thought I'd just show you guys uh, what, what, that's, what that's like. Yummy, yummy. All right, so today, we, uh, well, we've been doing is just working a little bit and we went for a run and then we had some cookies <laughs> and now we're going to have durian. So it's basically an awesome day, yeah. And the sun is shining and it's like 22 degrees. 22 degrees is like a lot in Norway. So yeah. Summer. Okay, so on our way to buy the durians, we happened to go into H&M because Celia wanted to check out something and we discovered this. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might be simple, but we like bananas. Everybody needs to buy some useless shit sometimes. Like I tend to identify as a minimalist, or at least that's kind of how we think that, you know, less is more and all that stuff, but yeah, I don't know, that monkey win that, and that uh, apron. Sometimes you just need a banana apron. This is true. Quote of the day, sometimes you just need a banana apron. Where's the durian? Okay, so they didn't have durian, but it's on its way now. So the lady behind the counter said that it's gonna be there in about an hour. So we're just gonna have to come back in an hour, I suppose. We're desperate. Yeah. What's happening now is we're gonna go home and then we're gonna take a shower and get changed and then go back and get durian and then we're gonna use the rest of the day uh, editing some YouTube videos yeah. or a YouTube video My. and yeah. yeah check it out <laughs> yeah it's gonna be cool Subscribe. the link the link will be down below as well of course duh this is a good restaurant by the way they have maybe the best Thai food in us Maybe. Uh, this, this is Kulturhuse, which is a cool place. I've been here once. You haven't been here. No, but I wanted Ooh. to check it out. Yeah, it's cool. If you're wondering why I feel my feet walking so much, it's because it's like just this nice transitional thing. It's like I can show you that I'm walking somewhere. And yeah. I guess I'm lazy, so I just do the same thing over and over. Oh, that is a vegan ice cream truck. So we're back home now, so he's in the shower. I just wanted to take a little moment to talk to you about this little monkey that we bought. We generally try to get rid of stuff that we don't use 
uh, and things that we don't need. But one of the dangers of um, getting into this thing with minimalism is that you start taking yourself a little bit too seriously and you start questioning like the nature of owning and a lot of weird stuff happens and it's really interesting but I think that objects, uh, physical objects also have a very sort of positive uh, effect as well as a potentially negative effect uh, and like with this little guy it's it's just really cool. It's just cute, you know? It's um, it's a nice little uh, silly and humorous object um, that kind of makes a cozy environment and and reminds us to do things like lighting candles and, you know, just doing small things that are nice. So obviously, I just bought this so it doesn't have any sentimental value yet <laughs> but like when I see it like what I immediately think is that it kind of reminds me that I'm a monkey and uh, that we're not too different from animals and we're all just primates walking around and sometimes taking ourselves a little bit too seriously so yeah I like it I didn't think I would but in the uh, about half an hour I've known him, he has grown on me. So we've changed into normal clothes. <laughs> or some of us have. <laughs> we've brought the camera to uh, take some outfit pictures for Silly's vlog. Those clouds better wait a little bit. We might, we might have some rain. I'm just, I'm so excited. Like I can, I can just like in my gut, I'm just so excited. I haven't had durian in, it hasn't been one year. Yeah. It's been a year since I had your No, that's not true. I don't believe you. Was it last summer in Stavanger? It's been a like um it's been a it's been a year. Like it is it is like a seasonal product, but still like gee, what have I been doing? What what have what have we been doing? Not eating durian. Are you as excited as I am? Yes. Like I cannot like I can literally feel like I'm I'm just like you know that you know that feeling when you're like you're about to go on a date with someone and you don't really know who they are and you're like oh you're so excited I, I have that exact same feeling, and it's a fruit. Does that make me weird? It probably makes me weird, but I'm just. I can smell it. I can. I'm just looking for that. I can smell it. I can smell it. They definitely have durian. And that store over there. We're coming to get ya! Oh, I'm so excited! Ah! Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. No, we can't play them here in Kursh, so they're making it so good. I'd call that a success. So we bought uh, a pack of uh, peeled, uh, or just like a little bit of durian. Uh, it wasn't quite ripe enough, so we're not gonna have it tonight. But we're gonna have, we're gonna wait a like a few days and then have it when it gets like really gooey and uh, smelly. So yeah. Uh, but we did buy uh, some um, some jackfruit. We discovered that they had, and it was from Cambodia, and it was like really like it's it's it smelled really really good. Jackfruit, uh, a really good jackfruit smells like tutti frutti or bubble gum, like really sweet, like candy. <laughs> yeah, it smells exactly like candy, and it has this really uh, I, I don't know like almost 
It has a very, uh, it has a very unique texture. It's so good. So yeah, we uh, were two weird fruits richer. You can also buy uh, like a like a whole durian as well. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, they kind of they uh, they kind of open it for you at the store, so you can because uh, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit hard to open if you don't have a knife. Durian is a little bit expensive, so we're thinking we might do a kind of a durian a durian meetup, <laughs> and then just kind of uh, buy an entire durian and go to the park and kind of share it with some other people, you know, because uh, everybody needs to try durian; it's the best. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we'll do that some someday soon. So the first time you smell durian, you might be confused and think it's a very foul smell. That's okay. It's 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 not. Yeah. It's it's easy to be confused about these things. Yeah. So we've arrived home and uh, we're gonna make some dinner. I think we're just gonna have some simple uh, rice and uh, avocado and some vegetables. But first we're gonna taste this jackfruit. This is what it looks like. On the outside it kind of looks like a durian, but it's not spiky. It's kind of like bumpy and green and it's yellow on the inside. Uh, and it also smells so good. I like I wish you could smell this through the screen because like I really like jackfruit, but I've never smelt a jackfruit that smells as good as this. Cuz usually we've had from Thailand and this one's from Cambodia. And apparently it's better from Cambodia. And uh smelling this, I believe it. So this this is it. It smells Amazing. So it has these different pods and they just kind of break off real easily like that. And inside there's a seed. And yeah, it's, so it's that that's what it looks like. Can I have some? There you go. And it's really kind of it's not gooey. No, it's, it's hard. Completely dry and hard. Mm. Cheers. Oh, it's so good there. Mm. Oh. I think everybody might like m might like this because it's such an like gentle, Pleasant. mild. Mm. This is the seed. So I forgot to actually talk about what it tastes like. So this is. Uh, jackfruit. Uh, like I mentioned, it, oh, it smells so good. It smells like tutti frutti, like bubble gum. It's like or candy. It's 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 really really nice smell, and it's kind of it's kind of uh, rubbery, but it has a really nice crunch to it as well. Mm. Where do you see the the stone in there? Mm. It has a very mild, uh, fruity. Uh, just delicious uh, flavor, but the consistency is probably what makes it so nice. Uh, it has a very sort of, it's very, it's like it's very soft and creamy like a papaya, but it's still, or like a mango or something, but it's like, it's crispy. You know what I mean? It's a... Uh, It's like really sort of soft, but it's not gooey at all. It's just really sort of crisp. And the flavor is like this clear, mild, but very, yeah, very clear, fruity flavor. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. If you haven't tried it, uh, check it out. Actually, uh, so this is ripe. When it's unripe, you can buy it uh, canned, and we actually use that as a meat replacement. <laughs> Which sounds weird. It's it, it's a completely different uh, food if it's not ripe. Uh, it's more like a it's used more like a vegetable. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, try it, try it, try it. Ooh. Right, should we make some dinner? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if this vlog is all over the place. I think we're gonna wrap it up now. We're um, we're gonna edit some YouTube videos and yeah, maybe snack on some more of that uh, jackfruit. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel because uh, because these because you want to, obviously, and. Uh, uh, and yeah, uh, check out Celia's channel. She, uh, that's actually one of the videos we're going to be editing now is a food haul. Yeah. Peace out and much love.